Yes, please come in. Arthik. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Very good afternoon. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Arthik, uh, correct, Arthik? Yes, sir. As I came to know through your uh, BIQ, you have done your law graduation. Yes, sir. So please tell me something about your professional course and the reason behind it. Indeed, sir. Sir, I I recently I, I recently graduated from Army Law from Army Law College Pune, where I did my five year integrated course of BBA LLB with, with honors. In BBA LLB honors, sir, you like uh, like it's like since it's an integrated course, the oh, first five years, five yes, years. Sir. Since uh, so like since it's an integrated course, like the first two years like like uh, like is of BBA, and the next three years like like they teach you LLB. The, the primary reason sir why I took BBA LB honors is since I also like like since I belong from a uh, like from a uh, like technical background like since I had PCB mm -hmm. like uh, like a like science stream in my twelfth is because of the reason that I believe that as far as lawyers and as far as like uh, and as far as judges are, are concerned they are like one of the most strongest foundations on which the Indian society is based upon okay. and the and the will to pursue justice like like that is one of the like, the primary reasons why I chose law. That's very good. Then why you skip your uh, profession? Why do you want to join armed forces? So Are you satisfied with the dream that you had earlier? Indeed, sir. I, I am I am like purely satisfied. But then again, the primary reason for my motivation to join the armed forces, whilst having a law degree, is because of the reason that I believe that when you have a particular like nuance, uh, like a uh, like thought process and mind will like based upon the the tenets of law. You are you are much more able, like able to grasp the the reality uh, like uh, like like of the of the ground, and when I'm leading in a tactical in a tactical scenario, my troops I'm well uh, like uh, like I can I, I can at least ensure that when my troops engage in some sort of operation or any sort of let's say uh, like scenario, in that manner they like they can like adhere to the like uh, like to the like both the nuances of law, and that I can ensure. Prati, can you tell me the? Basic difference between lawyer, advocate, and <coughs> barrister. Indeed, sir. Sir, uh, like, like, sir. Firstly, like a lawyer, like, the, like, like the difference between a lawyer and an advocate is that a lawyer can be a like can be a can, like, can be a student who is who is enrolled in any in any law college or like of India which has the approval of the. Who is pursuing, of pursuing law? Yes, sir. And an, and an advocate is someone who has the like who has been granted license by any st by any state bar council or by or by the All India Bar. And as far as the barrister is concerned, sir, it is a erstwhile, uh, <clears throat> it's a erstwhile uh, term that that is like kind of uh, that is kind of synonymous with uh, like with the term advocate. Like since it's a like it's a colonial word which we took upon from our colonial masters. So barristers are the are the advocates who practice in 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 England and Wales. And That's advocates are the people who practice in India. Okay, good. No problem. So, Pratik, please tell me about yourself in very brief. Yes, sir. Rafu, sir, my name is Pratik Chaudhary. I was born and brought up and belong from from the city of Guwahati, from the tea from the tea basket state of Assam. I did my I did my tenth higher secondary certi uh, certificate exam from Army Public School, Narangi, in 2016, which is in Guwahati. And uh, I will post that I did my I, I did my twelfth All India Senior Secondary Certificate examination from Army P Public School, Bengdugi, which is in Siliguri in 2018. And I, and and recently I did my BBLB honors from Army Law College, Pune, in, uh, and I passed out in 2023. And recently, to, in 2024. I completed my uh, my two years uh, like two year diploma on national and international cyber laws from Asian School of Cyber Law, which which was through virtual mode. As far as my family background is concerned, sir, my father Colonel Pallab Chaudhary, he is a serving officer in the Indian Army. My mother, Mrs. Shampa Chaudhary, she is a homemaker. As, as far as my achievements are concerned, sir, in my it, like during my school days, I had the honor of re of representing my my school APS Bengaluru when I was in 12th standard in both cluster. Command and AWES National Debate uh, uh, Championship, where I was uh, where I was uh, adjudged as the best interjector in 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 all the three in all the three levels. And in college, sir, I had the privilege of doing three national mood court competitions and one international mood court co uh, competitions, where I was adjudged uh, like where our memorial, like the brief submission which we give to the judges, was adjudged as the best memorial. And I, and in one national mood court competition, I was adjudged as the best speaker. Pratik, you completed your uh, schooling up to which standard from Bangalore? 
sir, I, I, sir, I, I was enrolled in 11th standard and I passed out when I was in 12th standard. I hope it is a KV Bangdogi. No, sir, it is it is Army Public School Bangdogi. Bangdogi. There is KV Bangdogi also. Yes, sir. There is one. There is there is a KV like Bangdogi just adjacent to our school. Okay, there are two different schools, central schools. One is in Bangdogi and another one is Kapril. Do you know this? I am not really aware sir, of the like, of the location known as Kapril. In Siliguri. Right, sir. Two different schools were there, Bangdogi and Kapril. So can you differentiate for which basic cause they were differentiated? Sir, I am not really aware as far as... You are not aware of No sir, I am not really aware were, Wasn't there any competition, inter-school competition at the time? Sir, our, uh, like, sir like, uh, as far as inter-school competitions were concerned amongst APSs, our, like, we used to compete like, predominantly with, with APS Sukna and APS uh, Jagabahar. Mm -hmm. Pratik, you tell me one thing. As you are a law graduate, triple talaq. Yes sir. As <coughs> it is a social practice and custom. Yes sir of a Muslim community, whereas the central rule, even Devar is abrogated. Yes, sir. So as the student of law, so what is your personal perception, sir? whether the central rule should, should abrogate the religious sentiments? Indeed, sir. Sir, as far as the basic ideology behind triple talaq is concerned, it is predominantly like derived from the tenets of Quran and certain hadiths. Or like uh, uh, hadiths. Uh, hadiths, as far as the Muslim community is concerned. Now, given the fact that that in India, women predominantly we like we are suffering in in Roman, like mostly just for because of the reason that this particular custom gave the right to men to say to say like like uh, talaq 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 three times and they and they can like uh, like like finally nullify their, their marriage altogether by just saying that the women were not even uh, like uh, being given the basic of uh, uh, I, I would say uh, like supplements like, like which are given to other women uh, like after divorce like for example alimony or any sort of like compensation which with, like which courts like denote that the husband should be liable to give but in this case they were not been given okay Pradeep you tell me one thing as the central government is planning to introduce UCC yes sir in the pan India yes sir. and actually it has been started through which of the state Uttarakhand sir. Uttarakhand so what is your personal view as a law candidate whether it should be implemented through the state or directly through the parliament sir, so what are the re reasons two reasons only indeed sir sir i believe that as far as uniform civil code is concerned and given the and given like it's a very sensitive topic i believe that the central legislature that that, that is the lok sabha and the rajya sabha are much more better equipped and they are much more better inventory to bring about the implementation of UCC Pan India because given the fact that all the UCC comes under the directive principles of state policy it is not although like uh, strictly enforceable I believe that uh, it is the center who is like who can bring it about Pan India because when states okay, like one, differentiate one, one statement clear. next statement what happens sir when like when different state parliaments bring about their own separate indoctrinated like testaments as far as a, a topic like UCC AR, like is concerned there there is a disparity which uh, which kind of like which kind of gets like promulgated between the states so if there is a central law which the Lok Sabha brings about then we can ensure that there is the, a blanket implementation of this law with blanket provisions for each and every like particular person as far as our country is concerned because for example like since Uttarakhand has got so about give me one reason why why the government is not initiating that rule in the parliament rather started from the back door which is states one reason Sir, I believe that as far as UCC, uh, like as far as UCC is concerned, I believe that, that India right now is still not ready to implement a blanket provision like UCC because given the fact that how deeply our courts are indoctrinated as far as the personal laws of each and every community and religion is concerned, I believe that there needs to be much more deliberation as far as UCC is concerned. So after much more deeply and delving. Uh, like promulgation about the tenets of UCC is concerned, then only can UCC be implemented by India. Pratik, as I get, as I get some basic information through your uh, psychology test as well as through your GDO test, my perception at present is you are moderate at psychology test, but somehow lacking behind in GTO. Yes, sir. The reason is very clear. You solve the challenges. But actually, when you get multiple challenges, you struck or somehow engage more in that. So, my suggestion would be, try to differentiate the nature of challenges. According to that, 
put your effort and then summarize the substrate.